Alright, Nate. Paternity is something of like a, a white whale when it comes to MMA interviews, you know that? I don't know what a white man is. <laughs> How close are you guys to each other right now? Like, could you reach out and swing at each other right now, Connor? No, nah, he's hiding somewhere. I don't know where the <laughs> f is at. <laughs> he knows what I should, I know I should do. He's my training partner. If he thought I should do something, he'd tell me specifically, but he didn't really. He just trained hard. He says, go beat that motherfucker's ass. Don't be a bitch, you know? There you go. Goodness. Nice job. Back to you, Kevin. I figure he would either have to, uh, I don't like that guy. That was Kurt Pellegrino. Why don't you like him? Yeah, he has some history, right? Yeah, he's, he's. I don't. I don't like guys who clown around. He used to be on Hendo Gracie's team too, and he jumped ship. So he's a traitor. <laughs> Nothing huge, but you know. This this specific, this fight, I was like, whatever. I'm not gonna try to sit there and hold on and grapple and wrestle and play UFC point scoring. Shit. So I got that fight, box, and do, do what I gotta do. There was a lot going on with your AKA family. I mean, between your brother and in the media getting beat up and in the shields. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, Caesar Gracie. Yes, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? Come on, Brock. Come on, Brock. Come on, Come on, Brock. Come on, Escort this guy out of here. So, Bieber walks up right now, you say what to him? Smack. <laughs> <laughs> louder than words, that's yeah. for sure. No, it's all good. b is all good. It's, it's whatever. Yeah. There's yeah. also rumors that you might retire. Have you heard those? Uh, no, but that sounds interesting. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go out on top. Nate, this is also a big payday for you. Is there something you're excited to finally, right here, is there something you're excited to be able to go and uh, pick up now? Yeah, I'll probably buy some, a whole bunch of nice shit. <laughs> Fight week. Have you missed this at all? No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who's you, the champion in my weight class? 55 and 70. 55's Khabib. Okay. 70's Kamaru Usman. Okay. I mean, it'd be I, nice. I, I feel like I'm just better and cooler than those guys. <laughs> the hell do I want to fight them for? Pettis is cooler than both of them. Fight, fight wise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Remember Street Fighter? I want to see that. Versus that guy, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Or just at school when you just knew two dudes who kicked <laughs> and you were like, I want to know what happened to them fools fight, you know? Nathan, it's good to see you. Good to see no you. more music? Uh, or are you changing the track? The song. What do we got? Wait, oh, where Brooklyn at? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Hold up, Pox coming on next. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's great. This is Biggie and Pox together. Funk Master Flex. Yeah, this is that. Okay. Can't you know touch my riches. The... Even big hands, fancy hammer, and a fee 57. 57. Bitches. Small. As far as the sport goes, I mean, when you think about like just. I gotta go to the restroom real quick. Is that allowed? Yeah, go for it. But, uh, but now I, gotta, I got some good stuff to go in on now. <laughs> Tell us how you trained for this fight, Nate. Because you didn't get much of a. Trained to kill. Always. I'm just looking at your little frame. Yeah. And it just reminds me of an injured gazelle. Yeah. Strapped up. People don't know Take what that means. Take your top off. Take your no top off. No one knows what that means. It's Take in your America. Top off. Take your top off. You little fat, skinny Yeah, right. No one knows what gazelle is anyway. It's America, <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> you were saying you wanted to go to 170. Mm -hmm. This fight's at 150. You told me that, remember? Yeah. We were talking, and you're like, maybe you should talk to him. I'm like, shut up, Ariel. In, in my head, in my head. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> hey, but, I, and then we talked, and so everything. You were right. Wow. Actually getting credit. Yeah. Getting credit. Uh, why are you back at 150? So sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, right. Did you feel as though you had something to prove tonight and, and finish the fight decisively to show that, you know what, you are a top contender and you did deserve to win that fight? Nah, yeah, I did win that fight. Only people who thought I lost that fight were the judges, but who, who's that? Who were the judges? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, How do you feel about you like 55? I don't know the answer. <laughs> Who would you like to fight? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the two losses on Conor McGregor's record are via submission. Do you feel like your jiu-jitsu may make the difference on Saturday night? Yeah, we're going to fight and uh, find out. That's by both men. Nate Diaz, <laughs> you just shook up the world.
How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I know I was gonna have a slow first round, and then when it started turning around, I saw the beginning and the end, and I was like, I started telling them, I was like, "Who you ate that shit?" And it's gonna get worse from here, huh? And then, and then all of a sudden, in the first, because he he was quick and, and he was had his things to say, and in my head, I was just like, "It's all right, it's all right. Next round, next round, I'm gonna be there too." And then uh, when the next round started, it came quicker than I thought. And when I started landing shots, I was like, this is a wrap, because you ain't going no farther than this. <laughs> yes, I could tell right. by the landed punches and uh, and uh, how his punches started. started. I started smothering his punches, and they started easing up. And I was like, and then I had him on the cage, and I was like, you don't have shit to say now, do you? And uh, and then I put a knee in his stomach, and I heard him go, huh. And I was like, yeah, this is good. This is good. And then all of a sudden, and he's shooting. Yeah. He's shooting for a takedown, yeah. and I'm like, oh, you're a wrestler now. <laughs> you're a wrestler. I remember I'm the black belt in jiu-jitsu, and you're shooting on me now. So you and me, and you know that Big this mistake. is a I tell this all the time. I'm like, you put the UFC roster on, on the mountain. These guys think they're tough. If we all run up that mountain, I bet you I'm going to be at the top of that mountain and probably see my brother up there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is, uh, this is something. I didn't know you had these skills. I'm an artist. <laughs> That's all I got, though. It was good, but in all honesty, were you a little annoyed that you're not on this? Yeah, where the fuck's my picture at? <laughs> I remember in, in July they wanted you Hold to on. fight. Hot. Smith and Wesson. Here we go again. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me know when you're ready. We just multiply. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like, ain't no stopping at the red lights. All right. I, I felt like I won my last fight. <clears throat> I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. It's just what it is, and especially in this UFC game, because I've lot of, lost a lot of fights that I didn't lose. Yeah. I don't need to fight. I sneeze loud and everybody hears about it. <laughs> I got to smoke the weed after the fight. So I had to smoke, game up CBD. So what was that? CBD by uh, Game Up nu Nutrition. It's good for you. <laughs> fuck you, fuck, fuck you. you. I don't give a fuck what you say, motherfucker. Yeah, thugging on mine, motherfucker, what you got? He's all right, Nick, he's okay. Nick's so proud of you all. Go ahead, Evie. Fuck your bitch ass belt too. Fuck the belt. I don't give a fuck about the belt. The only belt Why I care about. Everywhere? Why you bring it everywhere? Where's your boxing? Who, who do you train with? You got that little goofy motherfucker with you? You got that skinny I'm little for real. Twerp. No, I got a real training bitch at the real Oakland kid, Bulldogs. Real training who do partner? you train with? Top I'd slap the head fighter, off your whole team one by one. You want your big brother. Top 10 you you big guys. Brother. Top 10 kickboxers. You don't got, you're playing touch butt with that dork in the park, the ponytail. And I'm the one who ain't got no training partner, I don't think so. You seem to have it all figured out when you're fighting midgets. You got shit. Bring, bring your training partners in, you're gonna need them. My whole team will fucking beat your whole team's ass, how about that? In your long UFC career, this is your first time headlining a UFC pay-per-view. Has it been, I know it's been a pretty short ride to get to this point, but do, do you sense a difference and, and do you like it? I get paid better. People say that all the time, you know? Oh, he's a mental fighter, an emotional fighter. I don't even know what the f that means. This is the most retarded I've ever heard, mentally. The only emotions I get is if I lose, I'm pissed, you know? And what's funny too is like, that I was so confused and had no concept that what money was and how much what was what. I remember I looked at Dana White, you can see it on the show. At the end, I'm like, I'm rich. <laughs> I never had bought anything more than a pair of shoes, you know? I had plans to go home. <clears throat> I'm going to buy my mom a house. I'm going to buy a Cadillac. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy all the freshest gear. I had all these ideas, right? And then uh, I got home and I went to the car dealership and I was like, I want a, I want a Cadillac STS. I want this. I'm that guy who I was talking to, my boy, he, ride, he was like, hey, well, how much money are you thinking about spending? I was like, I got like... 
I'll probably spend like 11, 10, 10 G's and he's like, come over here. Put, looked at this old ass Honda stick. <laughs> I was like, what am I? There's no Cadillac. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drive that thing. And then, and then, uh, I ended up buying the Honda Civic. I need more money. Well, then I'll go s sit at a dispensary and smoke weed with people for two hours for a hell of money. <laughs> That's getting boring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. How but, shocked were you though that he threw a hook at you the other day at the presser? I thought it was pretty smart because I would have did that if I was. <laughs> I was like, yeah, motherfucker. Because you knew that if you made a move, I was going to throw some shit, too. You know what I'm saying? But, not, hit, but not, hit each I, other? Not. I, I would have smacked his hand and did something. But I knew he was going to... He was mad because I put a good good uh, stance on him. Yeah, you know yeah. He didn't like that. Ninja and he's stuff. like, I'm losing this shit. <laughs> so I had to throw exactly. a little fit and, made, and try to win it back. But I was like, you didn't win that. You still know you lost. I'm the dawn of all this shit. Anybody gonna step in this room and say they, they, they're the ass whipper? I beg to differ. The meeting you're supposed to meet to train tomorrow, for training for jujitsu or boxing or MMA or whatever, mm -hmm. we have an appointment. We're going tomorrow at 7 p.m. and we're gonna train, mm -hmm. me and you. And if you get a stomach ache or your toothache or your hair or it ain't done or something ain't right or your girlfriend's mad and you don't make it to seven o'clock, you lost, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't make it, you can't cut it. Straight up, that's an L. You beat somebody like that, you're like, I don't, I can't even believe that I was fighting him, you know what I'm saying? I had to do the weigh-ins with him. I'm like, damn, I gotta fight him, so I I try to give him a mean stare down, but I'm just like, damn. <laughs> I wish I was not even fighting this guy. There's a lot of people I would rather be fighting, you know? But that's, that's, what, that's the man, so. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? He, he's all right, he's just like, I, I'm, I lost this one. He's irritated with himself. I'm like, get up, man. You're, you're just fine. No. And I already did that. He's just doing it and talking about it. Oh, I got that. I'll fight any week. He re realized it was a good gimmick and he ran with it. Guess what? He did that. Oh, pardon my <laughs> scratch. I don't know. I think that's enough, man. It's good enough for the day. I'm over it. All right, make something of that, guys. I'm gonna be dead.